All right, go video. What's going on? So we came from the auction. It's Monday morning. Uh, as usual, there's Monday morning auction. So we spent 209, 209 with the buyer premium of 15%. So I bid out about, what's that? I think it's 15%. It might've went up to 19, I'm not too sure, but so everything bid out at like 180. So 180. The van's not full or anything, but there's some there's some pretty good some pretty good items. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go over a little bit of what happened, and then I'll highlight one item, and then I'll just pull this stuff out for a haul video, I guess. <coughs> but there's some pretty good stuff for. Uh, Two hundred dollars, not too bad. Um, the highlighted items in the house. So two hundred nine spent. Yeah, everyone was kind of sleeping. Um, yeah, I think they were more just keen on the lots that they wanted to buy, and uh, kind of the lots that I bought were just like five, ten dollar, twenty dollar box lots. So this. There's, there's value in there, um, depending a lot, and the way this auction's structured, it's, it's, um, it just, it just keeps running out, and once it hits ten dollars, I think once, they make everything go in a lot after the ten. So once the stuff starts bidding at ten dollars, he just puts everything in a pile. So I got about three or four lots at a dollar or two. So that was pretty decent. I felt like there was plenty of value for those lots and uh, the ones that I ended up bidding up, up a little on had value where uh, I knew what I was doing. So, uh, all in all, it was a good all in all, it was a good round at the auction. I don't normally go to the auction. I've only been to the auction like six times. I've only bought in three times. So it's a hit or miss, and I was bidding some people up, and they were probably like, who the hell is this guy? This guy's never here, and all of a sudden he's here, and he's just bidding everybody up. Oh, yeah, I'm just, I, I, I just got bidding happy because the last time I went, I didn't buy anything, and um, there was a couple lots that I probably should have bought for the prices that they were going for, so I kind of rethought my bidding structure <laughs> which was like a dollar so I rethought my bidding structure and um, bid in quantity um, and regardless of qu uh, quality I just bid in quantity and so there's some there's some junk in here but it's all it's all sellable um, so yeah I bid in quantity not quality and there were some quality items and there's some stuff that you gotta look up and there's some interesting like local area items that are like kind of sealed that are really cool and definitely will bring uh, a couple at least a couple hundred bucks if I do it right it'll bring more but um, it's mainly paper so I would have to cut it up and list it out in paper ads but that's all that's pretty time consuming and I really don't want to deface this item. So I'll try to get rid of that and at like the antique store or save it for the flea market because it's a local piece so somebody might really want that. It's like the most massive um, coffee table book I've ever seen. <laughs> and I bought that for 10, 10 bucks so and there was some paper there was some paper and firma guys there um, we got a bunch of paintings some good stuff um, so yeah let's uh, cut clip we'll go to the previewed or highlighted item and then we'll <coughs> pull the orders for the weekend not many orders going out I think there was eight but, uh, you know, you can 
do really good with just eight items. And I'll, I'll show you how I do pretty good with just eight items going out. All right, so easy packing. That's, that's A plus. All right, go items. video. We're back in my uh, home, and this is the highlighted item. Let me get out of the light. So these are um, two candlesticks that I bought in one of the uh, lots. The lot consisted of like a whole table of stuff for I think 30 bucks. And I kept I kept going on the lot because <clears throat> it was a decent sized lot and honestly, I really like these candlesticks. So they're like they're like wrapped. They have some condition. But pretty interesting wrap job. That's bad lighting. As you can see, the wick goes all the way down. So it's burn all the way through. It's like hand wrapped. Definitely was hand wrapped. It's probably definitely 50s era. Huge slab cut at an angle and then wrapped. That's definitely some nice quality work there. Give you a little highlight of those. Some nice colors. Very, very Christmassy. So I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna be like, hmm, I think 200. That's what I'm thinking. 100 a stick? They're worth it. Um, I don't have really a nice light set up right now in front of my uh, fireplace, but. Those those were stuck right next to the side of the fireplace on some nice like wood wood with felt covered pedestal stands would look pretty pretty sweet. So <clears throat> yeah. With the Christmas tree. <laughs> with my Charlie tree. My Charlie Brown tree. So, yeah, definitely nice. All right, let me go pull the orders and I'll bring them up and I'll put them right here and kind of go over them real quick. All right. All right, go video. Here we are in the kitchen. We're doing some uh, packing. So, this is what we got going out. This was, I'll go in the order. I'll go in the order for you. So I got this lot, this lot, and this lot. They're all packed up. And I'm just going to show you the, the solds and what they are. And I'm going to do another extra video on this eventually. So that um, you guys can find some of this easier. And maybe know what to look for. And kind of what shapes and stuff like that. That's if you want to get into this stuff. So those... The two bottom boxes sold on Friday. This is all Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday. And we're at 3 o'clock. So these two boxes, this is what's inside. It's more milling bits. End mills. Machinist bits. Whatever you want to call it. Drill bits. All right, so he bought these three lots that I just showed. And then he wanted to clear me out, and so he wanted to buy more. Um, I have more, but he wanted to buy, like, a lot more. So w when you're making lots, the more you make the lot bigger, your price gets smaller because you're increasing the lot size. That, that's how it goes for tools and stuff like that. Um, parts. That's how it goes. Um, 
you could even have quality when you start adding quantity even though there's quality your your price drops because you're you're turning into you're turning into a liquidation at that point because you have so much so sometimes you don't want to let people know that you have so much because then they think that you need to move it i don't need to move it but I moved it to this guy because he bought these two lots here. So I made him another lot. All right. This is that lot. Okay. And then <clears throat> this is Saturday right here, which is these steak knives. These are from, these are from the Capitol Grill. Capital Grill. Yeah, like a steakhouse. No, I didn't bootleg them out of the steakhouse. Um, <laughs> these were in all. Uh, I don't know where I got these. Like yard sale or something? The number 55s. Um, I have a couple other sets of these. These do pretty good. So, they're at about five bucks a knife. So, there's the sold. This, this is a depth gauge. So, the way this works is if I move this one way, like spinning it, this rod goes in or out by moving this. And that gives you a gauge, and then there's a readout, like right here where my finger is. And it'll tell you the measurement from point A to point B. So that's a, that's a good tool. That's a good tool to even have. Um, checking inside depths of things. They make rods that add onto that too. But this is not um, equipped to do any of that measuring. So then, what do we got? Uh, Sunday. Well, this was, this was Sunday, this lot right here. This is Saturday, this is Sunday, this was Sunday, which is a nice uh, planer. I don't list a lot of planers that much anymore, but this is a, a Bailey, Stanley Bailey, number three. That's where you find the, usually can find the number right there in the front corner. And uh, it'll be marked on the blade. It'll be marked in the front. Sometimes it'll be marked in the back. Sometimes it's marked on the side. And the most valuable one is not marked at all. <laughs> the most valuable planer. Not most valuable, but the most desired Stanley planer is a number one. And it does not say number one on it. So, you can look for comps on a Stanley Stanley Bailey or Stanley planer number one and ch check out the comps on that and I'm sure you're gonna go I've seen that planer before mm, maybe highly unlikely it's just a common shape planer that's why nobody ever really finds it because when they find it they don't know they have it because it's just a basic planer, but it's built with it's built with quality. Then this sold a little bit after, which is a planer lot. Um, it's I think I I think I got to repack this anyway. Let me cut clip. So now I uh, packed it in pretty tight, and we're gonna leave it like that. So this is a a planer lot that looks like this that's pretty much what you're going to be seeing but there's eight of them there's eight of them inside and they're all number fours and they're all they all have a they all have a problem with them either the handle's broken there's uh rust wear or it's missing a blade or there's a condition i think there's like one good one in here but, so these are all for parts or restoration. And a lot of guys, 
a lot of guys like the parts to the wood planers because they're trying to build them. Um, I know this one guy. This one guy. It's he's the same age as me, and he buys. I mean, I don't even want to know <laughs> what his house looks like right now, because he's been picking as long as I have, and all he buys is woodworking tools, and he doesn't sell them, and he buys a lot. So, I would really hate to see what's in his house. Some really good stuff. So this is that lot. Um, sold. Alright, and then as I was doing the video, this sold. These one, two, three steps with a uh, with the with the bolts. These are machinist. One, two, three steps. It's one inch by two inch by three inch. One, two, three. All right, that one's easy. And it says one, two, three. It says blocks, but they're steps, so you call them steps. But you can call them blocks too. Don't really matter. It's all kind of the same, but um, one, two, three steps would give you a little more boost in the search. This, I find these, I find like two of these a year, easy. This is a star it. Six, focus, I'll have to scrap the whole video. <laughs> star it, six, five, seven. Um, magnetic machinist base with an on and off switch for the, mag for the uh, magnetic polarity. So you'd push this button and it would turn the magnet on and you push it this way and it would turn it off and, uh, here's the sold for those two items focus or we'll scrap it <laughs> so yeah there's those two items all right that's kind of what's uh, going out and the only problem with all this stuff is it's very <laughs> Very, very heavy. Each one of those boxes is 50 pounds. So 50, 50, and 50. And that one's 30 and all that. It's maybe, two, I don't know, five. So walking out of here with 200 pounds of weight. All right. And that's what we're shipping. And that's the power of a priority box. How I can ship 50 pounds of bricks or lead or bits and bobs and knobs and jobs and priority mailers make my business happen without without these mailing boxes i could not do ebay it wouldn't work because of the weight caliber so keep that in mind if they do discontinue these boxes all right Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, some pretty good sales. Some pretty interesting stuff coming out of that auction house for sure. And uh, next video should be the haul of what I got out of the auction. All right, so if you want to see that, come back and uh, uh, I'll try to get done tonight. All right.
She's singing when I wanna make you be back again you know, And that she can't take the pressure low I'm on a level keep it cool and I'm on in life No someone up and I'll be down slow like tonight She said together we will be alright And I'll be one in a million I'm wanna love you but you're really need to understand That I'm your lover and your one woman man Don't mean no love and I'm up I'm here to Japan And all I want is my girl Up on a plane and I'm going to a foreign land And no Jamaica then we're going to Japan She's singing when I'm willing to be back again you know, And that you can't take the pressure now